Today on The Real. It's Detox Done Right. That's right, I'm walking you through my detox diary. Give us some secrets, Lonnie. Plus, Queen Sugar Star, Rutina Wesley. Five, six, seven. And who in our audience is slaying it? Look at her! How fabulous is Slay Day, The Real. on Madame Noir, and it posed an interesting argument about retiring a term that I'm sure we've all heard, wife material. Now, her issue, she says it implies that a woman who possesses certain attributes, like looking good, paying your bills, and being able to cook is superior to a woman who doesn't carry these traits. So she says we should do away with the term altogether. How do you guys feel about that? I agree, I'm not trying to be a wife no way, so it don't matter. <laughs> But do you think it's offensive? Well, I mean, you have husband traits, you know, husband material, you have wife material. That, well, I'm telling you something. What they were talking about is supposedly what that's not true. Men are marrying anything nowadays. I mean, yeah. come on now. Do we need to really get serious no. about this? I'm not sure. It what is mean, true. That men, that men aren't. They, they're marrying anything. You, oh. I mean, you, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I've a bunch of single girls who can't find a man. No, I know a An lot amazing. of strippers that got husbands. I know a lot of women that don't know how to cook okay. that got husbands. I get what you this mean. This is not true. The stereotype true. of what guys used to say was wife material exactly. certainly is not what today's version of wife material exactly. is. Exactly. With you saying that right there. <laughs> my point is, well, I is think a stripper wife material? It used to not be considered. That's that. what wait, wait. I'm saying. You know, stripper? like they used to say, you can't turn a yeah, but blank into a housewife. Those, a housewife yeah. and a hoe into a housewife. They definitely okay, used to say wait. that. Oh wait, wait, my wait. god! I know. Okay, I've guys, I've got a lot of good friends who are great women. And I thought you were going to say I've got a lot of good friends that who are, are strippers. They <laughs> are no, I do. I have you guys. I do have good friends that are strippers. I do oh, too. Yes, okay, and they're great women. Stripping is a job for them. Besides the point. <laughs> Why the material, what I think is describing a woman who can cook, who can clean, right? Who stays looking pretty all the time and, and have babies. Who made that rule? That's yeah. what I hear. Is that the, is that no. the stereotype of See, what wife material is? I actually is? think wife material depends on the husband. Like, what are you looking for? That's what some I mean. men, wife material might be, you know, she's, smart, she is going to be a stay-at-home mother, she, you know, whatever the case, and for another man, it might be she can make us a power couple, she's a go-getter, she's career-focused. So, th neither of those, I think, are actually negative. But I, you guys... This is what you want. This is the real, so I'm just gonna say it. Go. Say it. Why are people so doggone sensitive nowadays? I see, yeah. like, wifey material to me is a positive term. Um, I'm known as wifey material. I've never seen it. And hey, nothing wrong with yes. that. What's wrong with being wifey material? Yes. I'm a ride or die for my husband. I cook, I clean, I take care of my kids. I have someone to help me but with it, but I know how to take care of my- you are. Yeah, yes, I, mean? exactly. I know, but it's like, okay. Cause remember, I, I'm still praying about whether or not I'm gonna have kids. I don't like cooking and cleaning that much. You guys, and I it doesn't mean, mean somebody guys, wife but material. No, I make I, my husband laugh, I make him happy in the bedroom, and I'm true, a ride or die for true. <laughs> You guys, I'm a stripper. Wifey, I want to be a stripper. That's this is what I want to tell you. Wifey material. When I named all those attributes, it doesn't mean that they embody all of those yeah, things. Right. It just means that she has some of those things. And why knock someone who doesn't have those? And why knock someone who does? Exactly. Yes. That's like, what we're saying. What, what you're looking like, for. But I you, do, the you look for the same thing 
and men, we when you are looking for somebody, I'm not trying to be married, yeah. but if I'm looking for somebody to date, there are certain things that I want in that man. I will say this. I think I experienced the whole term wifey material when I went to college. I, I've always wanted to get married at the time, at the age of like 17. So guys saw that from a mile away. Mm -hmm. My nickname, my college uh, boyfriend called me wifey. That was like my, that was my yeah. nickname. But I say all that to say, some guys saw it like, oh God, I'm in I college. I'm in college. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that right now. So to me, wifey material, all that means is it's, it's, it's someone that the man wants to take home. It's someone that the man wants to take seriously, whatever that is to you. Exactly. So that's all I'm trying it's to say. It's the kind of woman you go all in for. All in for, yes. yes. What is yes. husband material for you? <laughs> yes. What were like one of the things that you were like, I need these top three things in order to marry this man? He had to love God, okay. number one. That's because I love God. For you, so husband So very material. important. Um, he had to be a family man. Mm -hmm. And he had to love life. Like Adam is, he's my husband, but he's my life partner. Mm -hmm. Right. So I want to do life with him. Mm -hmm. yes. You're about to get married. Doing something. What are you looking like for? Yeah. Okay. Three things that were important to me. I, I did want somebody that had some that was stable in whatever mm -hmm. they choose to do. Okay. Um, stable. Yeah, I actually had a girlfriend once that told me the funniest. She's like, that's cute to have a dream, similar to what you said. But, like, I'm going to need you to have already gotten there and, like, figured it out. Yes, right. yes. So, so for some people, that is yeah. important. So I appreciate stable. that. I had a guy who wanted to be a rapper for, like, seven years. I was like, when are we going to see some yeah. dollar bills from this copy? <laughs> like, come on. I'm just being real. No, that is real. Okay, okay. That is real. It yeah, he was like, I'm going to be the okay. best rapper. Uh, second thing. A family man, I definitely needed okay, somebody yes. that was going, I'm, I'm, I love my family, so I needed somebody that was gonna love them as well. Yeah. So I love that he loves that. And compatibility to me was everything. But again, that's not really something that you can like put a Craigslist out for. Like, hey, right. I want us you to You just be feel it. Compatibility to me is everything. That like, I, like you can't put out an ad for, hey, I hope you look at me like I'm magic. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, but, no, like, I can. got that and when I got yeah. that, I was like, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. No. Like that, and then Wait. I feel that same way about Can you. Can you imagine if you that, put that out? Say that one more time, because that was really sweet. Like, yeah. okay. You look at you like, what? I, I, I wanted what? someone that looked at me like I was magic, but I had never experienced that before, if I'm Ooh, honest. I'd have so, had that back in 82. Woo! Woo! And the fact that I felt that as well, I was like, yeah. oh, this is definitely See, I what didn't it feel is. that. That was the problem. See? I mean, he yeah. looked at me, but I didn't look at him like he was mad. And then, yo, that and happened. The look is magic. everything. Don't Why do some guys look at you on the street? Like, they think, I think, guys, you got to look in the mirror when you're giving a woman a look. Because some guys look at women like they think they're looking at you like you're magic, but they really look like... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You know, they look at you like you're a piece of meat, or they look at you like, like they want, like it's just weird. Guys don't always look in the mirror about that look. True. Well, <laughs> yes. Well, well. <laughs> if you don't like the term wife material, you might not like this either. Your kids calling you by your first name. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> No, In a blog much. post by a writer named Marinka, she describes how she chooses to have her children call her by her first name, mm. actually by her first initials, M-O. Okay. Marinka says, I don't feel that being called by my first name diminishes the fact that I am my children's mother. Nah, I'm not a no, mom yet. No, 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 no. But I feel like no. if I'm gonna go through all that, you better give me the title. Okay. Yes. <laughs> In my family, if I call my mom Darlene, even Miss Darlene, oh no. There's I like remember, a, no, there's a hierarchy. She's it was the mom. September 24th, 1976. <laughs> I came from school. I was feeling a certain type of way. Yep. And I put down my books and I said, Francis! <laughs> and that's all I remember from that day. And the freaking Lily. No! Now that I'm older, I can play with my mom like that. Like, when I was around the age of 
Nine, I know this is gonna be really hard for you guys to believe, but I used to talk a lot. <laughs> and so my mom would kind of get tired of hearing my voice. Yeah. So she, one, would either ask me if I could do a timeout and just be quiet. Mm -hmm. She would okay. be like, we're just gonna be quiet for now. And then there were some days when she didn't want to hear her name. I don't know if it's a Latina thing or not, but I am the queen of being like, Ma! 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 Mommy! Ma! So one day she said, I'm changing my name for the day. And she wasn't responding to mommy anymore, so I had no other choice but to be like, Nilda! Nilda! So I, I, that's the only time I've ever called my mom mom when she decided she didn't want to respond to mom anymore. Oh, wow. wow. Have you ever felt like that? Uh, well... Aiden is actually doing it now. Oh, really? Yeah, mom. and there's something that happens to you. I finally know what my mom went through when we would call her, you know, mm -hmm. well, that one time I called her by her first name. <laughs> Aiden goes like this, Ma, Ma. That's me. Ma, Ma, Mommy, Tamara. I said, oh, no, you did not. <laughs> but he got your attention. He did, but it's just something, I don't know, there's just something in me like, no. oh, no, 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 you don't call me by my But first there's name. also a humor in it, too, like sometimes, with my mom, when she's out of line, because my mom does things that are just crazy sometimes, and if I have to call her, I call her by her full name, Olivia Newton John Mai, <laughs> because she actually got, picked her name by, from Alu Olivia Newton John. Yeah. So no, when her I call name her legally is Olivia Newton John. <laughs> she tried to get Let's it get changed. Let's get physical, okay? So she tried to get it changed to Olivia Newton John, but she only got Olivia. But oh. she prefers it. So when I call her, Olivia Newton John Mai, she says, You calling me? <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. So when I call her that, that's actually when I can get her attention. Because if I say Olivia Mai, she doesn't answer. She'll say, It Olivia Newton John Mai for me. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> her version of Miss Jackson, yes. if you're nasty. Yes. <laughs> you know yeah. what, though? I don't even call older people. I don't feel yeah, no. good. Oh, no, no, no. I, I put no. that miss yes. in front of them or yes. ma'am or sir because I think it's just a sign of respect. respect. And I, I think it. kids need to be kept in a kid's place. So No one taught me manners in New York City because I've never called people that were older than me Mr. Mrs. Ma'ams or really? anything. Really? No, oh. your teacher. Oh, my teacher, yeah, but that was like, because they were giving me a grade. Like, <laughs> no, I would, all, it just all of a sudden comes out in me, the, the ma'am or miss. Like, never, yeah. never. Really? I mean, you don't see like an older, uh, like a senior I citizen, you call I them like, call... hey, Donna. It's like, what? It's yeah, I just called no, them their name. I had to, neither of you would call your mom or your dad, yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. No. No? We no. had to. We could never say, yeah, either. Oh. Don't ever say, oh, heck yeah. No. My mom would always oh. say, no. It's yes. Never say huh or do. Ooh. Never say what. Oh, so if yes. she says, yes. Tamara, what? Mm -mm. No, I was definitely just the age. You know, huh? No. I dated a guy. I, One time I had a boyfriend and his mother was real strict like that. And I didn't know that. Yeah. Right? Because I would say ma'am. But every time I, she spoke to me, she wanted me to say ma'am. And okay. I kept forgetting okay. to say ma'am. Okay. And she would get mad and she would check me yeah. all the time. You, I, what, what do you say? And you know what? Yeah, I just had enough. I said, look, ma'am, I'm up out of here. All right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now, if you're a woman, you may have experienced this. So listen up because I got a question for everybody in okay. here, okay. especially the women. Have you ever been out in public and a man tells you to smile? It's infuriating. I mean, men, exactly for several reaction. reasons, they do this. They tell you to smile. You know, most of the time, they're trying to flirt with mm -hmm. you, you know? But when it comes down to it, it's a criticism that we've learned to deal with in society, and many women say that it, it's time to stop this. So, you know, I believe that. I telling me to smile, you know, unless you cute. That's, you know, if you cute, then you can tell me to smile, but if you... Look like a tree monster. I don't want you telling me to smile. Huh? I feel like my stank face probably is what draws them, though, no? Oh, you think so? I think guys like a little bit of attitude. Let me show, show me that face. You Nothing. Just... I'll just be, like, serious, like... <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, you should, you should smile. No, I shouldn't. Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> I, I, I saw a meme on Instagram that even said... God, you look mean. Yeah, so get out my face. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if I look mean, it's for a reason. Like, I'm clearly telling you this is not an invitation to talk to me. <laughs> I wish I had that problem. I have, like, this constant 
smile. It's you do, and so that's why I. I don't want to. Dude, it, no, it's you draw strangers. I hate you guys. That. I got you this do. face of joy that annoys even me because my face walks into a room and it says, Come and talk to me. I'm yes. doing nothing today. And then we end up that a bunch of people talking to us. It's the worst face ever. Girl Scout kids will come to you, weird men, homeless people, people selling That's stuff. That's why I don't like going to a party with Jeannie, because no. Jeannie draws everybody, because she, <laughs> like, I do. I have a, I have a permit smile. I, I have the same problem. You do? Yes, so when but I was younger. But they coming to you because you sister, sister. That's why they come to you. Guys used to always think that I was hitting on them because I was always smiling <laughs> at them. I just, my daughter's like us. We're just naturally jovial. See? We're just always smiling. Yes, man. And you look like something wrong with y'all when y'all oh, doing that. Oh, see, oh, look at that face. That is all I did, oh, come on. Seriously, That's all adorable. I did was just put the camera up like this, and she was already smiling. That's she is a very smiling yeah. Good thing. That's, That's my adorable. best boot right there. But you know there. what? I think smile is your best accessory, and it's free, so I don't have a problem with it. You know, I yeah. like smiling. I think it's a beautiful thing when yeah. people smile. I like to I give people a chance to get to know me. Yeah, I feel like I'll start it off like this and let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. If you can you, get through the like hard shell. You gotta then, make us smile. Yeah, That's I mean, my you, thing. You let, let me tell you. Do you know how many girlfriends and people in general have told me like, man, when I first met you, I thought you were gonna be a real, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And then they're like, but you're actually so nice. I'm like, see, look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, can't judge a book by its cover. And there's some places you don't want to be smiling, okay? Yeah. Some neighborhoods, you don't be walking. <laughs> yeah, but okay, maybe that's a growing up in the hood thing too. I'm not smiling at everybody. Yeah, in Detroit, we don't, you know, we smile when we need to smile, but when you're walking around, when I was used to, I used to have to walk to uh, to high school. Yeah. I would always, you know, me mug, cause you me know, too. you gotta be tough. Oh, no. Yes. You, no, you yes. can turn it on though. I, we're not, we're not we, smiling through like well, no. dark alleys and stuff. I don't know, Jeannie. I don't know, I don't know, Jeannie. No, I, I, no, I, 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 I used alley. to carry my backpack and I used to like. Show me your mean, your mean Show us face. how you used to do it. This okay. America, watch Okay, okay, this. don't make me laugh, don't make me laugh. Okay, you going through the alley. You going okay. through the going deep through the dark alley. alley. It's There's... dark. <laughs> I don't believe you, Jeannie. No, I don't Jeannie. believe you. Jeannie. Jeannie. No? No. 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 Wait, I got another one. I got another oh, one. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Take how about, two. How about this? How about this? One. Here we go. Go. Oh, that's no. worse. No, Jeannie, that's, that's a worse. kissy face. Give, just do no. give me the mean mug. You I'm going to be honest. Give... I don't have one. I would say hi to the, to no, the guy. No, you got to have, like, okay, well, then no. show me no smile. Let me show you. You guys, me, like... I swear to God. It you is going the through hardest... an alley. No, it is the hardest thing for me to do. You going it through really... an alley. Lonnie, I can't. Just, just close well, your I'm mouth. I'm not letting you just... go through the alley. No. Something's going to happen no. to you. Seriously? No, you guys, you guys, okay. Channel this is the a actress. True... No, this is a true story. Okay. So I did a drama, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Okay. And it was uh -oh. really hard for me to get into that character. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I would just always think of sad things. That's the only thing that could get me, like, like serious, it just feels weird. I, I think it's foreign to my face. I really? just don't it's know you how know to do it. One time I had to play on S, um, you know, was that Law and Order yes. SUV? You did that? Yeah, but it was a long time show. ago. But I got fired, right? Why? What? Because you couldn't do a mean face? Well, no. well, maybe the reason why you got fired is because it's called Law and Order SVU. Let's start there. <laughs> Go ahead. What did I say? SUV, like it's a car. <laughs> yeah, but I was. Wait, well, anyway. Okay. I got you get fired. <laughs> Why did you get fired? <laughs> SUV, SVU, whatever, right? Special Victims Unit. What I did was, you do, Lonnie? Because I was, this was, this was early on in my okay. acting career, right? Okay. I, I had to play a dead body and oh I kept breathing. <laughs> and they fired me because I was breathing. I wasn't, I was trying to, you know. <sighs> And I got fired from the job. So I understand when you say, yeah, it's so you really... can't be sad because I can't be dead. I understand. <laughs> now, everyone has been loving Lonnie's new healthy lifestyle, including myself. Yes. You guys, doesn't she look amazing? amazing. Oh, it's so sweet. Yes. 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 She's been getting so many questions from fans wanting details about her new journey. Well, she is revealing everything right now because this is Lonnie's Detox Diary. <laughs> Show us your secrets. 
Okay, before I get started, I want everybody out there to know that before you start any type of exercise, any type of diet change, contact your doctor. Go see the doctor first. Get your vitals checked, all that kind of That's stuff. That's right. Okay. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's dive right in. Lonnie, can you tell everybody exactly what a detox is? What is Well, detoxing? contrary to cop popular belief, detoxing is not about weight loss. It's really about cleansing your system, yes. cleansing the blood. And so our bodies have all these natural filters. Mm -hmm. We have these organs, you know, our kidney, our liver, our skin. But, you know, sometimes we compromise and we actually abuse the system mm -hmm. because we drink too much, mm -hmm. we eat the wrong foods, we eat a lot of processed foods. So when you say, I'm going to detox, what you're actually doing is you're going to decide to take away those things and actually try to cleanse your the body. blood. That's that what is so hard. You are speaking the truth, Lonnie. Yes, you are. So, for those of us who are interested, Me. how do we do it? Okay, I have three simple steps because people have been all on the internet asking me, what did you do, what did We've you do? We've been asking yes. you. Exactly, well, here it is. Number one, <laughs> start with a goal, okay? Yes. That's the first thing. You know, when you're starting a detox, you know, just decide how far you want to go when you want to start. What I suggest is that you start small. Do like a four-day detox. Even if you start a one-day detox, you know, just plan it on a day when you really don't have a lot to do. Maybe you don't have to go to work. Maybe, you know, your kids could be taken, you know, away from you for a little bit. And just have a day where maybe you can stay at home because when you start detoxing, stuff start detoxing, which, okay? <laughs> you know, That's real. And That's you're so also going to be tired when you, because if you've been eating bad for a long time, like I was, you're going to be tired, so you're going to need sleep and things like that. So first set a goal. So I set a goal to do um, a four-day detox. That was my first goal. Now, my step two was I had to go to the grocery store, and what I did was I got all the fruits and Lonnie. vegetables that I could eat, that I wanted to eat. Yeah. And I stocked up on it. I also stocked up on alkaline water, and I like to flavor my water with lemon and also with mint. Yeah. So that like helps the detox. Water. Exactly. It helps the detox yeah. process. I didn't get any processed foods. I cut it out. I cut it out for the four days. The meat, the sugar, the alcohol, the coffee, the soda, Woo! all out. Just raw fruits no and coffee. vegetables. Wow, four that's days. amazing. Now... I did the raw fruits and veggies for three days, and on the fourth day, I treated myself, okay? <laughs> I what? ate cooked vegetables. See? Yeah. <laughs> That's still really that was, good. That was good. That's amazing. It was a goal that I could yes. get to. So now, I could have a baked potato. Okay. Because for me, it was like, I don't eat a potato raw. It's yeah. just nobody eats it raw. But yeah. I wanted a baked potato by yes. the fourth day. So that still counts as a vegetable. Yes. I just didn't fry <laughs> it. I baked it, and that was my treat, and I was good. happy. That's so. Crazy how after four days, having a cooked vegetable seemed like it a treat, like, It right? was like a buffet for me, you know? Yes. Now, step three, treat yourself while Why you're not? going through the detox. Usually on that fourth day, you got to cleanse out your, your system. As your system is cleansing out, you need to uh, make sure that you take care of your skin mm -hmm. because you're going to start seeing withdrawal symptoms Impurities. from the detox. Impurities are going to come yeah. out. So go, you know, maybe set up a facial, go to the gym, sit, into, sit in the spa, oh, yes. sweat out all those toxins Saunas. to help you get out. Keep drinking a lot of oh, water. You feel so, so that's good. your treat by the third or fourth day. Wow. Wow. That's your me time. You put yes. all this work and now it's me time. So I, I want know how often do you do the detox well I actually did a 60-day detox I wow. just I just completed it Yay! right before we started filming yeah <laughs> it was hard it was hard but I did it so now what I do is it's funny because they say that it only takes 21 days to start a habit. Mm -hmm. Well, I did 60 days, wow. and now I don't have the desire to drink. I don't have the desire for the wow. processed foods. Yeah. So what I do, though, is I don't restrict myself. If I want certain things, I'll have it. But I tend to only I, I tend to eat cooked food during the week when I'm working. Yeah. And then on the weekends, I may take a one- or two-day detox. And I eat clean now. That's, what, that's the new thing, yes. Jeannie, yes. eating yes. clean, yes. Yes. which is no she process really anything. So, totally. Yeah. You have inspired us, and we are so proud of you. Thank you. We're so proud of you. Yeah. Our next guest tore up the screen in everything around her on the cult hit True Blood. Now she's a little bit sweeter on the hot new critically acclaimed drama Queen Sugar. Please welcome Rutina Wesley. <laughs> So 
see you. Yes. You look gorgeous. You Thank do. You. Thank okay, you. Okay, so the last time we saw you, we were in New Orleans. Yes. yes. For the Essence Festival. It was so much fun. The difference <laughs> is, yes, it was amazing. You had a great time. The difference is, we all jumped on a plane and flew home. You jumped in a car and drove home to LA. Cross I did. Cross country? I cross country my first road trip. Oh my God, okay. which everybody should really do to see America. Yeah, it was kind of amazing. Um, and it's kind of meditative too, because when you're just on the road, yeah. you really just decompress. Yeah. That's yes. why I did it. Yeah. Um, and we went to, let's see, White Sands, New Mexico. Oh wow. Right. Oh there. Um, it was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, in, in, in the picture you put up, it looks like there's a tarantula. Oh, where did, yeah, that, that, where did, that, where did right. that come from? <clears throat> Arizona, Arizona. There's okay. tarantulas there. That yeah. is gross. I've never seen one in real life. And How big was it? Well, kind of about as big as this part what? of my head. Oh, hell. Oh, wow. So it was big. And they're furry, right? Yeah. yeah. And I was paralyzed because I was like, I was sitting and I was like, What's, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> and he, I think he was paralyzed too, because he was like, what, what's that? <laughs> you know? So we played that game for a minute, and then I finally, you know, jumped and ran real quick. And oh, he girl, was I would have had to heal his hand. From oh, my God. Oh, wow. uh, I'm afraid of spiders, though, so, yeah. yeah. Now with Queen Sugar, what do you think it is about this amazing show that has everybody feeling like they can connect to it? Um, you know, what I love about this uh, show is, is it's very universal. I think everybody knows what it's like to have family and the dysfunction of family, the, the joys of family. And, and even though it is specific to the black family, I love that, you know, there's a Hollywood in everyone's family and an Aunt <laughs> Vi. There's that right. relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about it, it's real love. Like, he really loves her and she loves him. And it's not the stereotypical sugar daddy, sugar mama. Like, it's a real love. And I like right. that. We saw the um, picture of you and Oprah on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, it's a lovely picture. It's like yes. different, and I oh. just need to know what is the story behind this. She said so many things to me. Really? Um, some of it I'm gonna keep private because I felt like she just, Aww. you know, when someone speaks to you, right. and when I posted, I was like, I just need to take it all in. I just gotta take it all in. Mm -hmm. wow. I can't really analyze it. And um, I did, I played Nettie in the workshop of Color Purple before they went to Broadway, and it was wow. my first job. Oh, so wow. this is. Wow. Um, this is like a, a full circle moment for me. If you had told me, you know, 10 years ago that I would get to meet Oprah and I'd be on her, sh you know, lead on one of her shows, I'd have been like, nah, right. nah, that's not gonna happen. I was so devastated, I'll never forget, I was really devastated because it was my first job. I was like, oh man, I can't sing, like this, oh, I suck. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then here I am, like here, 10 years later, and uh, there Won't she is in front yeah. of my face. Won't he do it? Aww. Won't he do it? And she just grabbed my face and was just like, this is, you're right where you need to be. Mm. You Aww. shouldn't be anywhere else. This is a, I was like, this is a full circle moment for me. Um, but sometimes it's, you know, it's ready when you're, it's ready when it's ready for you. Absolutely. And you can't always, you know, depend, you can't always know when it's gonna come. You just have to be ready. Yeah. So, oh. I finally was ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So now, last month, you accomplished the 22 challenge. Whew. Which was 22 push-ups mm -hmm. for 22 days yeah. for the 22 kill. Yes. Tell me about this. Yeah, um, it's definitely to honor uh, those uh, those who serve our vets out there, and um, and then I started like pushing just for like <laughs> just to push through the help. world. Yeah, cause yeah, the yeah, wow. arms. When you girl. Came out, I'm like the arms. arms. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. Do you do y'all want to? Can me? She. Wait, did you get through all 22 days? I did. I did. I did. I did get through all 22. Days. I did. It was really hard in the beginning, and then I actually got kind of quick towards the end. I was like, yeah, <laughs> got to it. It's not well, because Stephen Moore was like, give me look bad. Like, Stephen Moore did it, and I saw him, and he was so fast, and then I was like, really, Stephen? One, <laughs> two. This is so easy for you. Can yeah. you do the 22 um, for us? I think so. I think okay. I can do it. Okay. okay. I'm doing okay. Try. I don't okay. 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 All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's get. I'm gonna do the modified. Well, well, yes. yes. The it's modified. Push we're doing yes. push-ups. You're gonna, gonna do spread. modified. Or well, Regina, real thank you okay. so much make for sure stopping you by. Spread your fingers. This is okay. this right? is amazing. And then you want to make sure you go all the way down. One. One. Yeah. Two. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right here on the couch. It's no secret we have some of the greatest fans ever. You know we love you guys, so today we want to put some of our realest fans on the spot for their chance to real win some real cash money, honey. Five hundred dollars to be exact. All they have to do is prove their knowledge of the real in today's Down to the Wire. Mm.
we play, we'll quiz a fan from our audience on things we've said or done on the show this season. The more questions they get right, the more money they win. Yes. It's that simple. I love this game. Okay. So each question will be worth a different dollar amount. All in all, a total of $500 Boom. can be won. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a catch. It gets tougher as we go along because with each question, they'll have less and less time to answer. Mm -hmm. Now, all we need is our super fan. A super Who wants fan? to play? <laughs> as well as you think you know the real. I think I do. Okay, <laughs> where are you from? I'm Baltimore. Baltimore! Okay. All right, Danielle, let's get this started, girl. Okay. okay. Your oh, first stop. question. <laughs> Danielle, your first question, you'll have 10 seconds to answer. Okay. If you get it right, we'll give you $25. Okay. Now, the clock will start once I finish the question. Okay. Put 10 seconds on the clock, please. Your first question. During our premiere episode, which Grammy Award winning songstress was a guest judge for the So Gone Challenge? Monica. Oh! Ah! Oh, dang! Oh, good! Yes, She's good! Okay. You got $25,000! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question, Munch. This one is worth $50, and you'll only have seven seconds to answer. How much money could viewers win by texting the Reels word of the day? $500. If you didn't know that, because I've said it like a million times. <laughs> You're right, and so your $50 richer. Okay, next question, Gina. Danielle, you're so good. Okay, Danielle, Danielle, this is worth $100, okay. and you'll only have five seconds okay. to answer. In what romantic city did Adrian and Israel get engaged? Paris. Engaged. Oh, yeah. She used the word. Wee oui, wee! Oui. You just scored $100. <laughs> next question, Tam. You're good, okay. Girl. You are good. This is worth $125, but you'll only have three seconds to answer. Here we go. Okay. What item did Jeannie recently report was lost, but then she found? Oh my gosh, purse. Oh, oh. My girl. The it answer was... was her wedding ring. And I found it. Yes, you know I found it. Everybody's ready. Oh. You got okay. one more chance for cash, okay? okay. Lonnie, last question. You still question. got some money, honey, all right? Because <laughs> this question is worth $200, and again, you'll only have two seconds, okay. okay? You ready? Yes. Good luck. Who is our resident sexy man on the show? Marcel, the mailman. unless you did too. So right now it's time to recognize our Flyers fans whose fashion game is on point. Yes! That's yes. right, fashionistas. Today is Slay Day. I love this. It's like yes. a literal fashion show. Love okay, it. earlier today we scanned the audience's outfits mm -hmm. and a couple of the ones we saw were cover worthy, yes. baby. Lonnie's Choice is up first. There you go. Come on, girl. <laughs> Step on, look at her. Oh my goodness. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Ashley. I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. All right. Yeah. I love your outfit. You know, I love a good jumpsuit. Tell us about Thank it. Thank you. I got this from a thrift store in Atlanta for seven bucks, and my what? shoes wow. are on clearance for three. See? <laughs> That's, yes. That's, That's a great That looks like Jeannie's pants. Yes. It looks great it's on similar. you. So very happy for you. Adrian. Wide-legged pants, girl, I'm part yes, of the party. Yes, they kind of look like her. <laughs> <laughs> I right. love that. Who else slayed the day? Tamara, you're up. Here's your pick. Over here. Right here. Over here, honey. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, great stuff. What's your name? Oh, you're so sweet. 
What's your name? My Where are you from? Nicole. I'm from Illinois, but I came all the way from Huntsville, Alabama. Oh my! Oh, Alabama, Tell us about your beautiful outfit. Okay, thank you. I got it off Boohoo.com for less than $40. The wow. dress and the cape yes. thing. <laughs> and my shoes are from Topshop. Love it. I love yeah. it. I like the choker. Topshop has great shoes. Oh, it is. Oh, that's, the dress. Oh, that's yeah. so cool, you guys. The choker is attached to the dress. She's got the choker and everything. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. OK, now, we also can't forget about you at home who posted using mm. the hashtag The Real Slay Day. So check it out, guys. This is from at Kendra Faith 11. Kendra took her sleigh into another level, love right? It. With the layers, kind of like a fun street sensibility, <laughs> right? I love. We love our slayers so much. Ashley, Nicole, and at Kendra Faith 11, since you are featured in our Slay Day magazine, you are each getting a $100 gift card <laughs> to your local house. Yeah. 